Uh, Alright, so today's the day I'm summoning for uh, for Arby here. Uh, I have 7200. Um, I fully intend, well I don't intend to, but I fully expect to uh, hit pity on this, so I'm going to have to find some mystic bookmarks somewhere. Um, but I'm going to just pull on all these right now, see where I get. Uh, I'm going to pull one Moonlight Summon just in case, uh, you know, obviously in case I pull that RB out of there first. There you go, see? I would have uh, wasted all my Mystics and then pulled RB right on this. Uh, let's see who it is. I think, I mean, all I need is General Purgus. ML Siren would be kind of interesting. Um, that guy got some, is getting some buffs, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'll use him. Probably just feed my uh, other Leo imprints. I actually don't have that many Leo imprints. Uh, a lot of them are, are used. I just use them for fodder. Um, but yeah. Uh, so I was, I've been waiting for this rotation just because the other ones didn't have anything uh, I really necessarily wanted or needed. Uh, Idol's Cheer was pretty good, but like I already had Tywin. Um, but the fact that Albert's Ritual Sword is on this rotation makes it like just automatically better than the other two. Um, Lulika Imprints. Uh, could just save them for uh, ML Lulika. Um, Furious is more fodder. He's more fodder because I have. No wait, my Blaze Dingoes is triple uh, S. She, her ML Rin is triple S, but I don't know about. I don't think regular Rin is, so I could you know, may as well. Uh, and I do need more regular Fighter Maya imprints as well as you know having regular Maya imprints. The one thing I don't want here though, suck. It sucks that uh, Watcher Shuri is here because I have Watcher Shuri and regular Shuri at triple S imprint. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? Uh. This next rotation doesn't look that interesting, and uh, for one, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't think Isaria is gonna be better than Arbiter Vildred, but uh, yeah, so that's just me. Uh, actually, I had to go do something, hold on. Okay, there we go, we're back. Uh, sorry about that, I had to go fill up my uh, hero inventory just to make sure I got all, these stuff in, all this stuff in the box. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's just start, uh, start pulling on this. Uh, I'll have another video in the next few days. Um, Summoning uh, probably, I don't know, maybe Saturday or something. Because uh, as you can see up here, I have like 510, so I'm probably going to pull a little more. Um, try to get up to the 600, uh, the pity mark for the regular bookmarks, and then see if I get any more uh, Mystics on the way to try to pull for more on this RB. So if I don't pull them in this set, which I probably won't, um, I'll have some. I'll attach to the Eufine summoning video some, uh, some what's it called? So, some some Arbiter summons on there. So yeah, so we're going off to a, a great start so far. Um, not anything really. Uh, Gina, I'm keeping a lot of my like like that Terranor Royal Guard. Yeah, the one with the shield. I've been using him as fodder. Like other, like just a bunch of other three stars I'm using as far, but Gina, I've actually been holding off in case I get some sort of like, uh, I don't know, like she gets a, she gets a, uh, a specialty change. It'd be nice to see, uh, nice to see a Gina specialty change. Uh, of course, I got the one four star I didn't want out of that, uh, out of that pot. Well, I think, I mean, there's a few I don't want, but the main ones uh, are just a Maya, really. This is going to take a while. Uh, Alcelsian Spear. This is, this is also like, I, I kind of like, you know, Mystic Summons are kind of nice to summon on just because like, it's an extra pool to, to get more dust from as well as like, just other stuff. Like, like I said, 3 star fodder is pretty abundant here. Okay. What are the 4 star artifacts? Uh, oh, I'd never had this one. That's pretty interesting. Uh, what does this thing do? Just to decrease damage received by. F oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem wholly useful, but uh, Tonfa's. I have like four of the um, Portrait of the Saviors, uh, but none of them are like maxed. Like they're all max limit broken, but none of them are like 
fully leveled up, which is kind of sad to me. Um, like, I've had one since the original, the first time uh, the collab came, and it's just kind of been sitting there. Cause, like, I don't cleave, so there's not a whole lot of uh, pressure to do that, but I've been using it a lot more on, on single target. Like, you know, Euphine has a uh, portrait. Um, what's her name? Lilibet has a portrait, and then I had it on... Uh, I had it on Tenebria just because I didn't know what to put on her, and I still don't really know what to like use on her. Um, so I just kind of stuck with that, especially because like the first half of the health bar is usually the hardest because it's at the beginning of the match, or of you know even Guild War and RT and all that stuff. So the first half of the health bar is usually the hardest to to get rid of, um, but the second half is a little easier because like. You've, you've taken people down a little lower and presumably you've killed, you know, help, maybe you've killed one or two people. So the second half should be kind of helped compensated by her passive. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my uh, S10A summoning video. Um, it really kind of like... It sucks going. It sucks using these uh, mystic summons because, like, even if it's like again, like Arbor Village, is probably the best um, choice you can make for uh, ML five stars, and it feels like it just feels like crap going to pity, regardless. But I think this is gonna be Watcher Shuri. Oh no, I got him. There he is. Um, don't know how far I went into pity, but it's nice to be able to save uh, all these. And I didn't, and I didn't get a Watcher Shuri, so that's uh, even better. Um, yeah, so. Uh, here's Arby. I actually like, so I don't know a whole lot of the story in this game, but I kind of like parts of his character. Um, just like, uh, like he was there, uh, kind of, what I do know from him is just like a very serious guy uh, trying to like protect everything and, and the power of the Archdemon, I think, just sort of seduced him and he wasn't aware of like the corruptive elements of it. He's just sort of, you know, looking for power to do what Raz failed to do the first time. Um, that's as, that's as far as I got. So from what I got from that, I kind of like that little that little story he has going. Um, but if that's not true, then you know I don't, I don't know. So <laughs> that's what I got from the story mode. Uh, so I'm at five thousand. Uh, saving up another three thousand should be pretty easy uh, for the next uh, ML unit. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna pull for. Briar Witch Hyceria, uh, maybe depending on like if I start seeing stuff online, uh, you know, like the, the higher level people start like using her and she, she comes out to be, you know, just like excessively powerful. But like this passive here, wait, which one is it? It hit chance by 25, uh, 30%. Uh, it's not wholly that useful. I mean, it counters what? But uh, anybody with a Moonlight Dream Blade, does it go up to 35? Like, it goes up to 35. So it counters uh, Moonlight Dreamblade with uh, Fat Cat, um, but those aren't even that common anymore, right? Like, I mean, th they're here and there, but like in Legend RTA and Legend, uh, what's it called? In Legend, D uh, just regular arena defenses and stuff. Like, no one's really using that combination because Fat Cat's kind of useless. Um, so like, the fact that she counters that combo is like, oh. She's countering a combo that like kids run in Challenger and Champion, right? People who don't, aren't really that good at the game. So it's like you know whatever. The, the thing the thing that's like high in the high levels of RTA and, and Arena right now is what's his name, um, Riolu, or or, or um, what's his name, male uh, Dark Violet, yeah, uh, ML Violet, um, and he has like seventy percent or eighty percent, and then eighty or is it eight? yeah. 80% with a maxed stacked uh, violets, which is pretty easy to get on him, um, considering how fast you uh, most of us are making him. I, I don't have him, but like I would probably make him that fast and, and run uh, that artifact on him. Uh, but you run really fast, decently tanky with uh, pretty high damage, and then.
Well, that was weird. Uh, we lost like four seconds there. Uh, I wonder how that came out in the actual recording. I'm gonna have to check that later. Uh, as a tip, I think, for anybody who, who wants to make videos or stuff like that, save, record everything and save all your videos in MKV files. Because uh, YouTube takes MKV and that's fine. Um, it might be kind of hard putting it into like editing software. Uh, they work fine in, um, as far as I know, in like Shotcut or, no, what do I use? I forgot the, yeah, I think I use Shotcut. Um, like some free software. I don't have any like premium paid software because I don't really care that much. But um, MKV, the thing about MKV is like an MP4, if it gets corrupted in the middle or something like that, that whole file, you have to throw it away now because it's not useful. Um, but an MKV can be corrupted like halfway through and then that first half, you can still like extract that uh, video footage. So you don't lose everything. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a tip for anybody who wants to do that. But like I said, um, male violet isn't uh, like really hurt by this. It, it makes it better. Uh, you'll have a higher chance of hitting him. But uh, again, with, with violet, the, the whole like percentage chance of evasion is kind of nebulous so it really just comes down to 50 50 did you hit him or not right like whether he had you know five like you know take fat cat that dude's got like 15 percent effectiveness for everybody else for him he's always got a guaranteed evasion proc right but like for everybody else on that team has 15 percent and you miss that and you miss that 15 percent like all the time like you're always missing on other teammates it's ridiculous um so really like the percentages don't really matter what matters is like did it happen or not um, and the fact that she kind of reduces that by a little bit is like, eh, it's kind of whatever. Um, but yeah, what I think is, is, uh, yeah. Um, th also the problem to me with this is like this witch's curse thing here. You have to successfully hit them, uh, which is like, let's see here. When you hit them with this, this AOE, you can put Rengars on her and that'll proc no matter what, whether you miss or not. Um, and you can still do some damage, but like SSB usually just like, SSB and Crow or Crow really, uh, any one of those can just take down a, uh, a Violet, like just, just, just overwhelm him with damage basically is what I think is a better solution. Like, uh, people are saying Dark Corvus might come not at, maybe, maybe after Iceria, maybe, you know, one or two after that. Uh, Dark Corvus is a pretty good counter because you just like S3 him and he's dead. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so... Just as a, a last thing here before we head out, I'm gonna I'm gonna show off some gear that I'm gonna put on uh, on Arby here. Uh, he's basically already built. Who is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, we're going to grass. Here we are, grass. Uh, so Vildred and Arby have the same stats, so you can kind of see what he'll end up as. Um, so this attack is excessively low, and the speed is is kind of low. Um, this crit, I like this crit damage, but obviously you want more, and then this crit chance, obviously you want more. Uh, he's running this because he's a farmer, right? Um, but basically, he's he's taking this piece. Uh, it'd be nice to have some speed on here, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, the 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 rest of the stats are kind of like make up for that. Um, and I like this piece here: 65 attack, 7 speed, and 25 uh, crit damage. Uh, probably gonna run this on him. He can benefit from flat defense. I mean, you don't really want to build that. You you know, you'd, I'd be happier with something else here. Uh, but it's got crit chance, attack, speed, and crit damage, which is basically everything. So I'm probably just going to end up running this on him. Of course, you'd probably want more attack percentage here, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, the speed is pretty nice. Yeah, I think like this right side stuff is probably going to stay on him. So he's going to have like at least these stats, right? And then go, go up from there. Uh... I like this piece here. Good crit damage, crit chance, and speed. You know, good, just good piece overall. It could be better, just because you know it could always be better. But you know, at least this one's good. The reason I say that is because uh, these two pieces here are just really bad. Uh, there's no attack on this. There's effectiveness, which is worthless. Uh, on Arbiter Village is a little better, just because he's got uh, CR decrease on S1, and then he's got uh, blind on S2. But S2 or the S3 blinds regardless of like, yeah, his blind lands on everybody. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so. This could be replaced, uh, get something with more attack, maybe, you know, more HP, something like that, more speed. More speed would be pretty good here. Um, at least like a 4 speed puts me up to 180, and I don't think 180 is too bad. Uh, and then this piece, it's it's got good stats on here, but they're very low. So I got a lot of low rolls on this, which kind of sucks. 
Uh, so I want to replace this. So replacing these two should hopefully get me to a better place on uh, the RB. Uh, so these are already pretty good where they are. Uh, of course, if this was like an 85 gear and I could uh, 90 this, I'd probably get like 30 crit damage. It'd be ridiculous. 30 crit damage, 1 speed, so 8 speed, and 30 crit damage. It'd be great. But yeah, so this is the stuff I'll probably be running on RB. I mean, I'm going to run this on him, but uh, that's just because I don't have anything better currently. Uh, but that's going to be like the main goal is what people don't like. You kind of have to realize like with, with any character that comes out, like RB is going to come out and people are going to build him and go for him because he's been proven to be good. Like Briar Tyseria is going to come out and nobody has gear specially tailored for her, right? So when a new character comes out, nobody has gear specially tailored for them. And even when you like even the character has been out a while, even RB. I don't have an RB, so I don't have specially geared. Uh, I don't have specially tailored gear for him. Um, I have all of us generally have good gear here and there, but as similar as certain characters can be, a lot of the times you have to realize that no two characters are the same. So you can't just put some gear on them and be like, oh yeah, this is just transferable. Um, so when RB comes out or when when Briar Richest Area comes out, you need to wait a while for people to like grind out the gear that has the specific stats that you want for her and then see how she performs then. So then you, you know, when you start playing it, or when you start thinking about it, you can start saying, okay, well, I need to get that gear uh, for her. Uh, but yeah, so that's something, that's just something I, I, I see a lot is like, especially when RB came out, people were like, oh, he's not like my gear isn't like, he's not as good as I thought he was going to be or, or whatever. There's things it's, it's because you don't have the gear for him. You have you have good gear. I mean, a lot of people, even at like higher tiers, we all have good gear. I don't think anybody's uh, arguing one way or another. So we all have good gear, but like what separates, you know, different tiers of characters of, of how well built your character is, is how well is your gear tailored to that character? Um, like, have you been grinding out gear for him? All this stuff has already been for someone else, right? And now I'm just transferring it onto him, which is why it doesn't come out as, as good as you'd want it to be. Um, so like you see here, has too much health maybe or too much defense for someone like RB but you know there's something to consider is that like it takes you time to select gear that has 100% the stats that only he wants so the longer some of the longer characters like some characters you've had for a longer time um, like you know Alencia here or, or, or Crow, they have great gear because I mean I've had Crow since like you know early in the game he's got pretty good gear I'd say um, but like that's gear that's been stacked up over time where i'm like okay this is for crowd this is for crowd in, in, in the forefront of my mind where other people are like selecting gear for other people then they get crow and then they just kind of throw whatever they have on him and he, he usually works right he's decent but like the best crowds are ones that they've had them for a while and they've been grinding gear specifically for crowd they've been thinking he's at the forefront of their mind they've been thinking about you know what to do with him what his stats are what you want for him um but yeah so that's that's just something i wanted to point out to people is that like don't sort of like judge the character based on what gear you currently have judge them based on like you know your investment of gear and how much uh, of a return you get on those investments um for somebody this was a character where i had like a lot of gear for her by accident and she turned out really good i mean like i said i i really do enjoy my uh Tenibrio. she's she's been a lot of fun to play with um, mainly this neck here is what's like i kind of carrying her uh, it's got a lot of attack crit chance speed uh, crit damage on a hit set so that kind of dictated her build. I was like, well, let's build it with a bunch of effectiveness. So I got this ring. Um, and I got kind of fortunate that I got so much effectiveness uh, from, like, I don't even have to run an effectiveness ring, right? So, like, 28 effectiveness there, 23 effectiveness here, 21 effectiveness here. So, I, like, there's just a lot of effectiveness on all these pieces. Not this one, though. No. No, but, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm sort of getting tangential here. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll have a video probably for Eufine. Um Today, what's today? Today's Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's Guild Wars, so I'll probably have a video for that. But like, Eufine will probably be on Saturday. I uh, just want to get a few more... Um, uh, a few more bookmarks and all that stuff. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to showcase Vildred next Guild War. I'm going to be maxing him out today, hopefully. Um... But yeah, so that's it for today. Hopefully uh, this wasn't too... This was pretty eventful. I mean, I got lucky. Uh, hopefully most of you uh, don't have to pity. Because like I said in the uh, S10A video, like it it never feels good to pity. Like no matter what. Like, it's like, oh, like I said, 
you could be pitting for Arby and it would still feel like crap because how many summons you're doing and how much like resources it took to get to that pity and it's just really bad. But you know, fortunately I got lucky, so that's that's pretty cool. Hopefully uh, it's not it's not so bad for uh, those of you out there. Uh, but yeah, 